So because of this fear of death, dying, and mortality, and its a subconscious impact, I decided to do an experiment with 63 mainly English-speaking participants and an uncanny android in one condition and another condition that just had a woman. I wanted to see if it would elicit a terror management defense, and I found that it had a big impact on people's attitudes. Now, I want to show you some robot stimuli. So what do you make of this robot? Do you find it interesting, attractive, uncanny? What's wrong with it? And if you find it disturbing, why does it disturb you? Well, I think in answering these questions, you can look at it in, on many levels. It has a human-like face, and yet there's nothing behind except wires. So it's in a p state of partial disassembly. What would it be like to see a real human in such a state? Wouldn't it be disturbing? And what about the movement? Did it seem like the skin was moving over bones? Did it seem like muscles were moving the skin? Or that bones were moving under the skin? That could be quite strange. Now, in this next video, what do we see? Well, I'm interacting with a woman. And in the middle is this android with a rather expressionless gaze. It seems to be listening. It's looking back and forth at us speak to one another. But it's not really responding socially. It doesn't seem to find the conversation funny the way that we do. Is that odd? Would it be odd if a human behaved the same way? What's your reaction? What about here? Now we see some skin. It looks like it's skin from a human being. Well, in the context of this discussion, when we've been looking at robots, maybe you don't find it very strange. And if I show you that it's the skin that belongs to a robot, well, it all makes sense. It's just some silicon skin that's been painted to look like skin. But imagine in a different context. For example, if we had been talking about the Holocaust or some horrible event like that, what would it make you think? And now we can look at the underpinnings, the mechanical underpinnings of this robot. Does that cause you to feel differently? And if I had shown these first and shown you what the robot actually was, it's this robot here on the left, would that change your opinion? Context can be very important in studying the uncanny valley.